Becoming a Popcorn Chapter 1, The Curious Colonel Once upon a time, in the bustling town of Snackville, there lived a little corn colonel named Popo. Popo was unlike any other colonel in the popcorn factory. While his fellow colonels dreamt of becoming delicious popcorn, Popo had grander aspirations. He yearned for an adventurous life outside the confines of the factory. One day, as Popo lay among his corn companions, a gust of wind blew open the factory window. Popo seized the opportunity and soared through the air, landing outside in a field. Little did he know that he was about to embark on an extraordinary journey that would change his life forever. Chapter 2, Popo's Peculiar Transformation As Popo ventured further into the field, he stumbled upon a hidden treasure, a mysterious bottle filled with shimmering golden liquid. Intrigued by its enchanting glow, Popo decided to take a closer look. Without warning, a drop of the magical liquid dripped onto him, transforming him into a sentient popcorn kernel. Popo's new form allowed him to bounce and roll with ease. Overjoyed by his newfound abilities, he set off on a series of playful adventures across the countryside. Popo soon encountered other popcorn kernels who were amazed by his extraordinary transformation. Together, they formed a mischievous gang, delighting in their popcorn escapades. Chapter 3, Popo's Popcorn Parade News of Popo and his gang spread far and wide, capturing the attention of both humans and animals alike. The townsfolk were fascinated by the lively kernels, and word quickly reached the Snackful Popcorn Festival organizers. They invited Popo and his gang to be the highlight of the festival's grand parade. Popo and his friends excitedly accepted the invitation, practicing their synchronized bouncing and rolling routines. They designed colorful costumes, transforming themselves into a vibrant and eye-catching popcorn ensemble. On the day of the festival, the parade began, and Popo's gang popped their way through the streets, bringing joy and laughter to the spectators. Chapter 4, The Popcorn Prince Popo's remarkable talents caught the attention of the Popcorn King, ruler of the neighboring Popcorn Kingdom. Impressed by Popo's unique abilities and infectious energy, the Popcorn King declared Popo the official Popcorn Prince. This title bestowed upon Popo great responsibilities and a grand castle to call his own. Popo embraced his newfound role with gusto, using his position to advocate for unity and happiness among popcorn kernels and people alike. He organized charity events, inviting humans and kernels to come together in support of various causes. Popo's efforts brought harmony and goodwill to the entire Snackful community. Chapter 5, Popo's Perfect Popcorn Legacy Years passed, and Popo's legacy as the popcorn prince continued to grow. The once curious corn kernel had become a beloved figure in Snackville, inspiring generations to embrace their uniqueness and pursue their dreams. As Popo reached his golden years, he reflected on his extraordinary journey. From a simple kernel to a popcorn sensation and a beacon of hope, his life had been filled with excitement, laughter, and love. Popo's story became a timeless tale, passed down through generations, reminding everyone that even the smallest kernel can achieve greatness. And so, Popo's popcorn adventure came to an end, but his spirit lived on in the hearts of those he touched, forever remembered as the extraordinary popcorn who dared to dream. The End <laughs>